cornerback competition, Coach Davis talked about it a bunch. I mean, how would you assess things are going for you guys? Uh, I feel like we're doing well. I mean, we all working together. We're competing against, e we competing with each other, competing. And I feel like that's the reason you come to Bama to compete um, and go against the best. But we're working together. We're just trying to do a will and Henry says, and that's which play fast and be a physical defense. You got some opportunities last year as a freshman. Just what do you think you learned the most and how that helped you going into year two? Um, I feel like the opportunities that I did get as a freshman were a very big and it's going to help me going into my sophomore year as being more confident and um, knowing what I'm doing because I've already been out there. A year ago, you were the new guy. You stand here today and you're the most experienced guy out there. I mean, Rick's has played a lot, but he was somewhere else. He's new to here. Uh, so in, in that short time, what's it like to go from being a fresh face to being somebody who's looked on as a, as a leader, I'm sure? Um, like you said, I was a, a new guy now, kind of the, the guy that's kind of been here and had the most experience. But I kind of want to thank the guys that were here before me, Job and Jalen, for what they did and um, helping me to get to this point, which is um, being here for the guys that are young and the guys that need help if they have questions because of the questions that I ask them, I can answer. Yesterday, we talked to Ja'Cory about his role in the Iron Bowl win. Uh, obviously, you had a pretty key moment with that batted away pass. How much do you get talked to about that? Does that get brought up? And then obviously, as an in-state kid, that probably means a lot to you. So what, what, what did that moment mean to you? Um, that moment was very big to me, just like you said, because I was an in-state kid. And um, it was just very exciting. And I was glad to be a part to help the team do what we did. Do, do people bring it out to you, though? Like, do, you, do you get addressed about it? Do people kind of just like recognize it or ask you about it? Um, yeah, me just walking around or just being in the state on our off time, yes, the question do get asked a lot. I mean, I just say the same thing. Like, I'm just glad to be there in that, in that spot for the team. Kind of similar to what you just said, but to be able to play as a freshman in a national championship game, to be from Alabama and from Birmingham, just what did that moment mean for you at, at that point in time? Um, that moment mean a lot for me. It was something that I always dreamed of. I always seen Alabama play in the national championship. I always told my mom that I wanted to be a guy that played with whether what position I was playing. I just know I wanted to play for Alabama in the national championship. Coming into your sophomore season, what were some of the things you wanted to work on in your game? Um, I wanted to work on, you know, just being more confident in what I'm doing and just working on my press technique, making sure that I'm doing everything right, make sure I know the full details, and make sure I'm fitting straight into the scheme. I know coming in, you, you mentioned maybe playing both basketball and football. Just what was your approach to that? And is that still something in the future that might happen? Uh, my approach to that, when I first got here, I was thinking about playing football and basketball. I actually did practice with the basketball team, but as of right now, I don't think I'll be playing basketball. You mentioned being the, the older guy in the corner room, but is it still good to have guys like Jordan and DeMarco in the secondary to kind of still help you along whenever you need advice? Um, yes, sir. It's big having those guys, um, Jordan and uh, DeMarco there, because when I have a question, um, I still can ask them and know that I get the right answer to help anyone else that are asking me a question if I don't know the answer right then at that given moment in time. Kind of bouncing off that, when we talked to Coach Golding the other day, he talked about how he likes the leadership in all levels of the defense. So just um, kind of what, what's it like in the secondary the leadership? Obviously, you know, you have battle and Helms, but kind of you in the corner room trying to step up in that position. Um, it means a lot. I mean, like Coach said, leadership is a very big part of this team. That's something that we do because um, the standard is some a big part of what we want to do. and. Just being a big leader and having the guys like Jordan and DeMarco there leading us, that's very big because they've been here for a while. I have to ask you, we didn't get a chance to talk to you, obviously, until now, about the NIL deal with, with Kool-Aid that you had uh, last year. What, what was that whole experience like? Um, that, was, that was big to me because um, my name is Kool-Aid, obviously, but that's just that just was big. It was something that I never thought would happen for real until that given time moment. But it was just big to me. You've got a new position coach with Coach Robinson. Just what's it been like working with him in the spring and now in fall camp? Um, it's been good 
working with Coach um, Robinson, um, he's brought he's brought things to me that helped me get better in other corners as well, and other safeties and other position groups. Even on special teams, Coach Robinson has been good to us as a team. I have to ask with the Kool Aid, what, what's your go to Kool Aid flavor? And then also with that nickname, it kind of comes being a fan favorite. What is that like, you know, being such a young player, but still being somebody that the fans really gravitate towards? Uh, my favorite flavor probably would be pink lemonade, I would say. That would probably be my favorite flavor. What was your other question? Just being a fan favorite. Um, being so young and being a fan favorite, what is that like uh, having the, the fans kind of gravitate to it? towards you with, with your name and, and, and also just your, your play on the field, though? Um, I mean, it means a lot to be able to do what I can for the team and do what I can for the University of Alabama.